Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa if you are new here. Now in this week's video, we're going to be talking about the early church and Peter. Now I do a series on this channel where I talk about the early church and Catholic beliefs and we see if the Catholic church today can be traced back to what the early Christians believed. So the topic of today is Peter and his importance as the rock and his importance in general. Did the early Christians believe that Peter was the rock? Did the early church believe that Peter was important? Let us see. So to begin, let us get that timeline on the board. So we're going to be starting in the 4th century, which is how we always do it, hence why there is a 4th on the timeline. Let us see what the first 4th century Christian has to say about the importance of Peter. And the first 4th century Christian that we're going to be looking at is Ephraim the Syrian. He said, Jesus said, Simon, my follower, I have made you the foundation of the Holy Church. I be times called you Peter, because you support all its buildings. You are the inspector of those who built on earth a church for me. If they should wish to build what is false, you, the foundation, will condemn them. You are the head of the fountain from which my teaching flows. You are the chief of my disciples. Through you I will give drink to all peoples. Yours is that life-giving sweetness which I dispense. I have chosen you to be, as it were, the firstborn in my institution, so that, as the heir, you may be executor of my treasures. I have given you the keys of my kingdom. Behold, I have given you authority over all my treasures. Whoa! <laughs> Did we not just read what Ephraim the Syrian said? That was so beautifully said. I've never heard anyone talk about Peter in such a way, but we can see that in the fourth century, he believed in the importance of Peter. Now let us move on to our second fourth century Christian, which is Cyril of Jerusalem. He said, In the power of the same Holy Spirit, Peter also, the chief of the apostles and the bearer of the keys of the kingdom of heaven, healed Ananias, the paralytic, in the name of Christ. Lydia, which is now Disaplosis, and at Joppa, raised from the dead Tabitha, rich in good works. So as we can see from this verse, I don't know how to pronounce any words, but anyways, what we can see from this verse is that Peter is understood to be given the keys to the kingdom of heaven, that he's the bearer of the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And the last 4th century Christian that we're going to be looking at is Optatus. He said, You cannot then deny that you do know that upon Peter first, in the city of Rome, was bestowed the Episcopal Cathedra, on which sat Peter, the head of the apostles, for which reason he was called Cephas, that, in this one cathedra, unity should be preserved by all, lest the other apostles might claim, each for himself, separate cathedras, so that he who should set up a second cathedra against the unique cathedra would already be schismatic and a sinner. Well then, on the one cathedra, which is the first of the endowments, Peter was the first to sit. So from this verse, we can understand that this 4th century Christian understood the authority of the Pope. And he says that if anyone decides to divide against him, that he is schismatic and a sinner. So it talks about the importance of unity and that unity brought on by Peter. So from this, we can understand that the 4th century Christians did believe that Peter was important, that Peter was the Pope, and that Peter had the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Now, let us move on to the 3rd century Christians. The first 3rd century Christian that we're going to read from is Cyprian of Carthage. He said, There is one God and one Christ and one church, and one chair founded on Peter by the word of the Lord. It is not possible to set up another altar or for there to be another priesthood, besides that one altar and that one priesthood. Whoever has gathered elsewhere is scattering. So from this verse, we understand that this third century Christian understood that there was one chair and that was founded on Peter. And it talks about for there to only be one, which the Catholic Church teaches. It calls for this unity and to remain one and to not be divided. The next third century Christian that we're going to be reading from is Tertullian. He said, 
For though you think heaven still shut, remember that the Lord left here to Peter, and through him to the church, and that the keys of it, which everyone who has been here put to the question, and also made confession, will carry with them. So from this quote, we understand that the third century Christians did understand that Peter was given the keys to the kingdom of heaven. So from this, we can see that the third century Christians did believe in the importance of Peter and Peter having possession of these keys. Let us move on to the second century Christians. The second century Christian that we're going to read from is Tetation the Syrian. He said, Simon Cephas answered and said, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. Flesh and blood has revealed it unto thee, but my Father, which is in heaven, and I say unto thee also, that you are Cephas, and on this rock will I build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. So from this quote, we can see that this early Christian did understand the importance of Peter and the importance of this verse, which is Matthew 16, 18 through 19, which we are going to touch upon in the next section. So now we understand that the second century Christians believed in the importance of Peter, but let us go to the first century Christians and see if they saw the importance of Peter. And what we're going to be looking at here, the documents that we're going to be looking at is scripture itself. And we're going to be starting with Matthew 16, 18 through 19. It says, And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Reading this verse from scripture, we see that many of the early Christians also quoted this verse as well, because they saw the importance of this verse and this importance showing the importance of Peter. Let us move on to our next verse, which is John 21. It says, Whenever they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you. When you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow older, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said, follow me. So from this verse, we understand that not only did Jesus Christ build his church on Peter, give Peter the keys to the kingdom of God in Matthew 16, 18 through 19, but he also asked Peter, told Peter to tend his sheep feed his sheep. The good shepherd that is Christ was asking for Peter to tend his flock. So from this, we can see and understand that the first century Christians understood and believed the importance of Peter as it is documented in scripture. So guys, I hope you learned something new from this video. If you guys want to know more about Peter, I have so many videos talking about Peter or talking about the papacy. So please check out the description bar for links to those videos. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you didn't like it, you can give it a dislike. If you like me and you want to see more of me, please hit the subscribe button. Also that bell notification so you're notified when I post. I want to thank you guys so much for being here all the time and showing me all your love and support. I love you guys all with all my heart and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.